Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postland series. So today in this video, we are going to see about the environment variables. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen the collection variables. Those collection variables are applicable only for the particular collection. Okay. You cannot use the collection variables into one collection to another collection. Okay. But when it is come to environments, so it will it will enable you to scope your work different environments. So for example, you have collection for uh, dev, UA, UAT, but there are like a few things like you want to change some URL, username, password. You can define in the different environment. For QA, you have a set of environment. For dev, you have set of variables. For UAT, you have set of variables. For production, you have set of variables. You can define the different different environment variables. So for example, here I have one collection by the name of variables. Okay. So here I have particular URL. So this is a post method. I'm going to define some request body here. Okay. So in the request body, I'm going to send just name. Okay. So let it be as empty and it's out. Okay. So this one also I'm leaving as empty. Okay. So when I send this request, so I will be getting some response. Okay. This is a post method. We are getting as a 201, which is created successful status. Now I want to send the name along with the job. Okay. So for, for QA environment, I have to send some different data. For a dev environment, I have to send some different data. So in that case, what we can do, so if you define the collection variable, it is going to be a constant for across all the tests, right? So if you want to change, again, you have to come here and you want to change. So instead of doing that, what we can do, you can go to the environment tab here and just click on the new tab, okay? So this is, I'm going to give in as a dev environment, okay? So in this environment, I'm going to define the name. And here you can see the type is coming here. Okay, the type is applicable only for the global and environment right now. It is not applicable for the collection level. So the name, I'm going to give it as my name. And the current value also, I'm giving my name. Okay, and what is the one more variable we are sending? Job, right? So I'm just sending as a tester. Okay, so these are the two variables that I have defined in the dev environment. Okay, I have created new environment variable here that by the name of dev environment. So in that I have a name and job. Okay, so now in the right side, you can see the drop down, no environment. So here you will see that that newly created environment variable. So when you select this particular drop down, and if you just click on this I button, you can see the variables, what, what is the variable name and what is the current value and the initial values. So now I can go here. And in the request body also, you can use variables in anywhere. Okay, so just type name. So when you type the name, you can see. Okay, so if you just delete this, and if you do the control space, you can see the name value, current value is coming as a surround, which is coming from the environment variable. Okay, so just close this. And what we are sending additionally, we are sending the job. Okay, so now this is for the dev environment. So when I send this, it has to come my name and the job will be tested. Okay. Now what we can do, we can go to the environment again. So now my, my use case is this collection is same. Okay, so I mean, the test cases will be same across all the environment, right? If it is a dev, you are going to execute the same scenario for QA, UAT, everything is the scenario, test scenario will be same, but only the test data will be different. Okay, for example, in the dev environment, you might be using some username, password and the URLs. For QA, you might be using some different URL and username, passwords, right? So in this case, my collection is same, but I want to run for different environment. So what I can do, I can go to the environment and I can create one more new environment by the name of QA. Okay, so this is QA. So here also I'm going to define the same variables like a name, but this time the name will be ABC. Okay, so I want to send the new variables, I mean, different variable names. So here I'm going to send the job. So here API tester. So now if you go for this particular drop down, right? So now you can see two variables are coming here, a normal variable. So one is dev and one is QA. So now I have selected as a QA and I'm coming here. When I send this, so this has to take from the QA normal, which is ABC as a name and API tester as a job, correct? So now the same collection, right? So the variable is the only one collection which I have. I'm able to execute with the different data for the different environment, okay? So if you don't select any environment, okay, if you leave as it is, I mean, 
as a no environment. When you send this, this will not work. Okay, you can see it is going as a name as it is, right? If you want to use some environment variable, then you have to be particularly selected that environment to, to get the variable value from that particular environment. If you don't select that, then the variable value will not be get, uh, used in the request. Okay, so this is what environment variable. Okay, and when it is come to priority, I will I will cover in my last video to, to compare all the priorities of this particular values. Okay, so now we have a global as the lowest preference, correct? So if you if you just click on here, you can see here also you can see the global variable. So I'm just going to click on the edit here. I'm going to define the name here as a global. Okay, so now I have the same variable name as a name that is coming from environment variable as well. And it is coming from the global also, right? So now I have selected as a dev environment here. So now if I send this, it will take the values from the dev environment. It will not take from the global because my priority is environment compared to global. Okay, so if I uncheck this value from the environment variable, okay, so I, I just uncheck this name and when I save this, so now if I send this, it will take from the global. You can see it is coming from the global, which is a name as a global variable. Correct. So that is what the priority. So this priority will be applicable for the collection level also. In the same collection, you can use collection variable, environment variable, global variable, everything you can use in the single request. So for example, uh, I go to this variable code. Okay. So here I'm going to define uh, job as a variable name. Okay. Initial value will be collection job. So I'm just copy pasting the things for initial value also. So now if I come to this request, okay, and if I not select any environment variable, so now this job, okay, this one is job, okay. So now if I send this, this job, right, so this name will be coming from the global variable because we have not selected anything, okay. So now if I send this, you can see it is coming from the collection variable, okay. If I select this environment variable as a div, then I have the job already defined here. Okay, so now you can see it will take it will come from the my environment variable which is tester. Okay, so the first priority, I mean the global has the last preference, which means if the variable is not defined in the environment or collection, it will take from the global. Okay, second one is a collection. So that is what we have seen now. So now let's go back to here and check this name. Okay, so now if you we have selected the name as well as job, so now it will both come from the environment variable. You can see this is an environment variable. Okay, if you don't select this particular environment, then the variable will go as a null. Okay, you can see. Okay, so this case it is, it is taking from the global level because we have defined the global variable. So let me uncheck this. And in the collection level also, let me uncheck this. Okay, so if you not selected any particular environment, then the value will be set it as an empty only. Okay, so this is how we have to use the environment variable. So the same collection that is applicable to run for across multiple environment. So we can define the different different environment variable like this, then we can execute them. Okay. So that's all about this video. Uh, we'll see the data variables and local variables in the another video. Thank you guys.